Hey guys, Alex here from Blender Academy. Welcome to another Office Hours. Today's question is one we hear all the time. Is Blender hard to learn? You've seen some of the amazing things people can achieve using Blender. But if you've been trying to learn Blender on your own, or you've heard other self-taught users recount their struggles and frustrations, you probably have the impression that, yeah, Blender is super difficult to learn. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It isn't actually hard to learn. That's right, Blender is not hard to learn. But the thing is, Blender is super hard to teach. And that's where I think this idea that Blender is hard actually comes from. Because, and this might seem obvious, learning something is harder when the subject isn't taught well. So here are a few key issues I've noticed when it comes to how Blender is typically taught that you should be aware of, so you can make your Blender learning journey much easier. First, teaching through tutorials. If you're like most of my students, your first step in teaching yourself Blender was to log onto YouTube and start watching beginner tutorials. And don't get me wrong, YouTube is an invaluable resource with a ton of useful and pertinent information available right at your fingertips. But with such a vast ocean of tutorials out there, it's easy to get completely lost or give up altogether. And what's worse, for those that do manage to struggle and stay afloat with this method, these tutorials often lead you astray, costing you a ton of time, and sometimes even ingraining bad habits without you realizing that not only slow you down, but can also cause frustrating mistakes that will continue to plague you long into your learning journey. Why is that? The problem is that most tutorials give you the false sense you've learned something, when really you've only followed along to create one specific thing. And more often than not, they also tend to include steps that assume you know things that you may not actually know yet. Let me give you a quick non-Blender example of what I mean. Say I wanted to set out to teach you step-by-step -step how to order a cup of coffee in Spanish. I can tell you that the first step is to say hola when entering the coffee shop, meaning hi. Then say un café, meaning a coffee. And finally say por favor, meaning please. Hola, un café, por favor. See, simple. With that tutorial, I can now assure you that you'll be able to do this yourself as long as you remember each step. But what if you want to order something slightly different? Or a specific size coffee? Or if they ask you whether you take milk or sugar, what will you say? Suddenly, the idea that you learned how to order a cup of coffee in Spanish falls apart. And the same thing tends to happen over and over again with beginner Blender tutorials. They focus on a specific method or outcome and leave out key fundamentals along the way. So while you may be able to follow along and achieve the end result, more often than not, you may not have actually learned everything you need to know to do the thing on your own, which will inevitably lead to frustrating mistakes, bad habits, or confusion down the road. This falls right into our next big issue with teaching Blender, understanding how we learn. While most of the people teaching on YouTube may have a ton of experience and be great at using Blender themselves, how do you know if they have any background or understanding of how teaching and learning works? Even with the best intentions, these YouTubers may be setting you up to fail in the long run. That's because our brains don't learn the way most of these tutorials teach. Most beginner Blender tutorials set out to walk you through all the major features of Blender in a methodical way to create something interesting. And at first glance, this might seem like a great way to go over all the key features and tools and have something fun to show off in the end. But unfortunately, this isn't a great way to teach because it isn't the right way to learn. Instead, we're actually much better off learning small incremental skills and practicing using those without following instructions over and over until they become second nature. You might not get to build something fun in Blender at the end of learning each skill, but you'll have a much better fundamental understanding of how each tool and feature actually works, which will set you up for greater success in the long term. All right, this understanding takes us right into our final problem with how Blender is taught. Teaching too fast. One of the biggest issues out there is the promise to teach you how to become a pro at Blender fast. While I get that the idea of learning everything super quickly is enticing, the reality is you can't actually learn effectively this way. And trying to cram everything into your brain in one mega tutorial session is a surefire way to end up frustrated, confused, and feeling like the material you're trying to learn is too difficult. When in actuality, it's the way in which you're trying to learn it that's making it seem difficult. Let's go back to my simple teaching a phrase in a foreign language example from earlier. If you didn't know a single word in Spanish, but I told you that in just a few hours I could teach you everything you needed to know to become completely fluent, you'd probably scoff. And you'd be right to, because you know that it's simply impossible to think that you could effectively teach someone everything from the most basic words and phrases all the way through advanced grammar and vocabulary all in one sitting. And the same thing is true for Blender, or any skill for that matter. Learning takes time and requires commitment to the process of learning bit by bit, starting with the fundamentals. So what is the fastest, most effective way to learn Blender? 
Well, it's a bit too much to cover in this video, but if you're looking for more advice on setting yourself up for success on your Blender learning journey, I recommend you go check out our Welcome to Blender Academy video. Or if you're looking to jump in and start playing around with Blender right away, be sure to watch our Getting Started with Blender video, which will help you avoid the common roadblocks that often trip people up when they're first getting started. Got a question you'd like us to answer in a future office hours? Send us a message or drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.